Hey guys, welcome back to Zenwong's channel. Today is another HLMS episode again. I did put the teaser in the previous episode, so for today, it's Ju Gundam from Gundam Seed. Before starting the video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to it to get the notification whenever I upload a new video. Enjoy the video. As the hate between naturals and coordinators grew bigger and bigger every day, eventually it turned into a war. Zaft started producing MS and gaining the upper hand in the war. Everybody thought that Earth Alliance was going to win because they had a lot of MAs and battleships. However, Zaft MS, Jin, performed very well in the war. The Jin quickly proved that battleships and MAs were slower. They couldn't have that agility as the MS, neither the MAs got enough power compared to the Jin. At the beginning of the war, Earth Alliance refused to develop MS because they thought battleships and TSMA2 Mobius mobile armors were enough. They underestimated the strength of the Jin, and they don't have the technologies to develop one. But as the war kept going, the Earth Alliance finally realized that they need to change. First, they invited Orb to join the development because Earth Alliance know that Orb got the people they need. Without the collaboration, there is no way they could develop their own MS as MS controls were too complex for the naturals. But Orb is a neutral country which means they are not sided to anyone. The leader of Orb, Uzumi Nawa Asaha, rejected this invitation. The reason is we are a neutral country. However, not everyone in the Orb nation agreed with Uzumi's decision. The opposition secretly contacted the Earth Alliance and accepted the invitation. That opposition will be Londo Mina Sahaku. She believed that by cooperating with the Earth Alliance, they could steal the data and technologies to create their own MS, which was the Astray series. CE69 Admiral Dwayne Harberton from the Atlantic Federation filed a new project called G Project. This project was developing MS for the Earth Alliance. The five prototypes were completed at CE71 by both Mulliganet and Atlantic Federation at Heliopolis a colony controlled by Orb. The G weapons was called GATX series, full form as Gosorio Armament Tactical Experimental. There were a total of 5 units in 3 section. Each Gundam had different uniqueness. The 3 sections include X100 series for versatility and specialized role, X20 series for special equipment or system, and X300 series for developing transformable MS. The reason why this G weapons was called Gundam is because of the full form. General Unilateral Narrow Length Dispersive Automatic Maneuver. You took the first letter and it became Gundam. However, the G project was leaked and Zaft sneaked into Heliopolis to steal them. Resulted 4 out of 5 Gundams were stolen by the Zaft Aces. Only the Strike Gundam was still in the EA's hands. Ju Gundam is one of the Gundams that was stolen by Zaft, piloted by Izaku Juru. The Ju Gundam was the first finished model out of the 5 Gundams. It was designed to be general purpose MS. When the Earth Alliance designed this Gundam, they wanted this Gundam able to use all the weapons from the GATX series. Which was why there were additional plugs inside the palm to power the weapons. Since the Ju Gundam was the test bed for other MS in the project, the features and armaments were pretty standard. Which was why Earth Alliance had a very low evaluation towards it. By the way, the Ju Gundam was the lightest unit out of the 5 Gundams. The Ju Gundam armaments include 75mm Seaweeds, 2 beam sabers in the backpack, 57mm high energy beam rifle with a 175mm grenade launcher under it, and a shield. Originally, there was an extra weapon for the Ju Gundam. It was called 350mm Gayberg Rail Bazooka. However, when the Ju Gundam was stolen and leaving the colony, this weapon was left in the Heliopolis colony and later it was taken by MBF P01 Gundam Astray Gold Frame. One of the special features about the GATX series is the PS Armor, full form as Phrase Shift Armor. PS Armor is an armor system that uses electricity to reduce physical damage, making the MS virtually immune to solid body impact attacks. When the PS system was activated, a hissing sound will be heard and the grey surface will start fading away, slowly coloring the surface. For the Ju Gundam, when the PS armor was activated, it will turn into blue and white with a bit of orange mixed in. According to the official settings, if you enter different values in the armor voltage section of the OS, you can change the color appearance of the Gundam. As I said before, PS armor uses energy to reduce physical attack. According to Andrew Watfield's calculation, the PS armor could take 76 missile hits before the energy completely drained the battery. Of course, there were other possible energy draining options like using beam weapons on the Gundam. 
The PS armor could defend physical attacks very well but not for beam attacks. It's very easy to overpower the PS armor by using beam weapons. What if the battery was out? The answer is that the Gundam without PS armor could be easily damaged by any MS, no matter beam or physical attacks. Also, the PS armor have very good heat resistance which means independent atmospheric re-entry is possible. In the anime, it was shown that the GATX-105 Strike Gundam could enter the atmosphere alone. The Jew Gundam was stolen by Zapt and participated multiple battles against the Art Angel and Strike Gundam. During one of the battles, Kira entered into seat mode and stabbed the armor Schneider on the armor next to the cockpit of the Jew Gundam, causing a small explosion in the cockpit and left a scar to Izaku's face. Later, when Zapt was repairing the Jew Gundam, they decided to give it an upgrade. Thanks to the X100 series flexible frame, it could easily add extra armor on it. The new set of armor was called Assault Stroud, short form as AS. This set of armor was developed based on the data from ZGMF1017AS, Jin Assault Type, and ZGMF515AS, Ziku Assault. The AS armor is a set of armor mounted on the body of the Jew Gundam to enhance its overall combat performance, especially for space combats. The AS armor was not covered by the PS armor on the Jew Gundam. Also, they could be ejected if the armor was damaged. There were new weapons on the AS armor. On the right shoulder, you will see a 115mm railgun. It was called Shiva. It uses electromagnetic forces to launch projectiles and it was slightly stronger than the shots from the beam rival. On the left shoulder, you will see a 220mm 5-barrel missile pod. There were additional thrusters on the legs and backpack to enhance the mobility in space. But unfortunately, these thrusters were not enough for atmospheric battles as the armor was bulky and heavy. The Jew Gundam Assault Shroud was first launched during the 8th Fleet Low Orbit Battle. It shot down multiple Mobius and fought the Strike Gundam, but the gravity pulled the Jew, Buster, and Strike Gundam into the atmosphere. Soon, it was seen again in the desert and it was stood on the Lesseps class to fight against the Desert Dawn members. Later, the four stolen Gundams forced the Art Angel to land in the territory belonged to Orb Nation. When the Art Angel left Orb's territory, the Zala team attacked the Art Angel and faced the Strike Gundam, but the Jew Gundam don't have any outstanding performance in these two battles. During Operation Speed Break, Jew Gundam participated the battle, but ZGMFX-10A Freedom Gundam arrived and chopped off its legs to force the Jew Gundam to retreat. In the Battle of Panama, it destroyed a couple of forts and shot down a large group of strike daggers. In the Mandel Colony, the Jew Gundam fought the Buster Gundam for a while. Later, the Earth Alliance sent out Peacemaker team to wipe out Plant. The druggies came and stopping the Jew Gundam to shoot down the nuclear missiles. But luckily, the Free Ship Alliance stopped the tragedy. Finally, at the second battle of Yakindue, this was where Jew Gundam gained its fame. First, it uses the AS armor as the decoy and fool the Forbidden Gundam. Then, ejected the armor and stabbed into the Forbidden Gundam's cockpit. Then, working with the Buster Gundam, Izaku used the grenade launcher to directly blow up the bridge of the Agemono class. Lastly, the Raider Gundam came and fighting its last battle. Izaku took the Hyper Impulse Long Range Sniper Rival on the Buster and shot it towards the Raider's cockpit. He defeated 2 out of 3 druggies. That's excellent performance right there. After the war, the Jew Gundam was returned to Earth Alliance along with Buster Gundam. In the Gundam Seed RE manga, there was a new equipment on the Jew Gundam when it's on Earth. It was simply called Atmospheric Equipment. It was developed from the Strike Gundam's IWSP backpack data recovered while in Heliopolis, using the AMF-101 DIN parts to build it. There were multiple thrusters and wings on the backpack. When the aero shell helmet covered the head, the wings will expand and enter into high mobility mode. At the moment, the known new armaments include a pair of beam cannons on the top barrel, a pair of rail guns on the bottom barrel, and two swords that were similar to the YFX 200 Ziku Deep Arms Heavy Laser Sword, except they were solid blades. With a flexible design like the Jew Gundam, it's not surprising that it got a mass produced version. The result will be the Long Dagger. The Long Dagger is a versatile and high performance unit that was designed for Soldiers series, aka the Earth Alliance Combat Coordinators. The GAT01 Strike Dagger was hastily built for Naturals, but it still participated part of this development. 
Combining the Jew Gundam simplified structure and shared more than 50% parts from the Strike Dagger, the Long Dagger was born from it. Unlike the Strike Dagger, the OS of the Long Dagger was designed for coordinators or combat coordinators from the beginning, which was why the Long Dagger having a much better performance than the Strike Dagger. The Long Dagger armaments include 75mm Shewaks, the same shield used by the Strike Dagger or Jew Gundam. Two ES-01 beam saber that were the same model as the one on the Strike Dagger. 57mm high energy beam rifle plus 175mm grenade launcher under it from the Jew Gundam. And M703 57mm beam rifle from the Strike Dagger. Both Long Dagger and Strike Dagger were unable to equip Striker packs. Since X100 frame having high versatility, another add-on equipment was developed for the Long Dagger. The Long Dagger itself had very poor firepower. To solve this problem, the Earth Alliance developed the Fortestra armor. Fortestra means strong dress. Created based on the data from the Art Angel records, combining the Zaft add-on equipment called Assault Shroud, this was how the Fortestra armor was made. First, the armor provided additional defense, just like the AS armor, heavily reduced the mobility and added a lot of weight on it. To offset this problem, there were additional thrusters in the armor but it doesn't help that much. Offensively, it got a 115mm linear cannon on the right shoulder. The principle was similar to the Jew Gundam's railgun except it was clip-fed. On the left shoulder, an A2 missile port was on it. The hole for Testra armor could be ejected there will be a blinding flash released from it, at the same time as the armor was ejecting. This flash will protect the long dagger during the detaching process. Now, allow me to talk about the Fortestra faults. Enjoy. Hey, can I copy your homework? Yeah, just change it a little bit so it won't be obvious. 24 hours later. Okay, it works. It wasn't sure about how many long daggers were produced. There were three mentioned throughout the side stories. The first two were stolen by 11 and 7 soldiers after the test run. The pilots wanted to prove themselves still worthy and not a threat. They heard that Guy Mulakumo, the pilot of the Astray Blue Frame. He is the strongest MS pilot in the Earth's sphere. They challenged Guy for a battle but they did him dirty. Guy thought that he was fighting one long dagger but he was actually fighting two long daggers. When Guy was about to end the long dagger, another one came from behind and badly damaged the Astray Blue Frame. The Socius clones took the Blue Frame's head as the trophy. Later, Guy came back with a newly repaired Gundam Astray Blue Frame Second L. He fought both long daggers again and defeated them, but he didn't kill them and convinced them to reconsider their life goals. The third long dagger was piloted by Gene Carey. He got his own color which was grayish white. It was deployed during the Battle of Panama and fought the Jew Gundam for a while, but the EMP shockwave disabled the MS and Gene was about to accept his death. But Izaku didn't kill him and Gene survived. Later, the Long Dagger was upgraded to the Jew Dagger. The Jew Dagger was the true mass-produced version of the Jew Gundam. Jew Dagger and Long Dagger was exactly the same except Jew Dagger got a natural use OS and color difference. Even though this MS was mass-produced, but it was still assigned to Earth Alliance's aces like Rila, Emilia, and Edward Harrelson. Due to the Jew Gundam performed very well in the CD-71 war, the Earth Alliance reconsidered its value. Partnered with the Action industry, the Action project was started. The project's goal was to upgrade the original 5 Gundams. First, they remanufactured the Ju Gundam. The reborn version was exactly the same as the OG Ju Gundam, except the armor was VPS armor. Variable phrase shift armor, short form as VPS armor. Developed by Zaft and compared to the original PS armor, the energy system was redesigned and became better. It allows the MS to automatically alter the strength of the armor in the battlefield. If I remember correctly, the darker the color is, the more defensive it will be. Another big change was the energy consumption was reduced and allowed the MS to operate for a longer time. The remanufactured version was soon developed into the Blue Jew Gundam. The developers redesigned the Fortestra armor on the Long Dagger and Jew Dagger. The features include enhanced mobility, weapons, and offensive ability. The Fortestra or AS armor were not covered by PS armor. The developers redesigned and letting the VPS armor cover the new Fortestra armor as well. However, the Blue Jew Gundam version cannot eject and it was mounted into the MS. The redesigned armor also solved the unnecessary weight problem because it was directly mounted into it. The Blue Jew Gundam could have great defensive abilities without losing the mobility. The Blue Jew Gundam was designed from the beginning that it will be working with the Strike Noah and Ferdu Buster Gundam. In a group of three, the Blue Jew Gundam will serve as the melee combat unit. Also, the Blue Jew Gundam was equipped with Power Extender. It is a large capacity power pack 
added to the power system, allowing the MS to operate for a longer time and using the VPS armor for a longer time. The Blue Jew Gundam armaments include 12.5mm series, free MK315 stiletto rocket propelled anti-armor penetrator on the left shoulder. They were dagger type bombs used as a throwing weapon. Same model just like the ones on Wyndham or Dagger L. Two M7G2 retractable beam gun on the forearms. They will flip to the front when in use. They are small and high fire rate. Two ES05A beam saber stored on the legs armor and an anti-beam shield on the right shoulder that contained M443 Scorpion mobile railgun. The Blue Jew was first launched to attack one of the ZAF bases, however, it didn't survive for a long time. During one of the missions, the Phantom Pain was escorting the GFAS X1 Destroy Gundam. A Baku successfully destroyed the right arm of the Blue Jew Gundam. Soon, three Kerbus Baku hounds jumped onto the Blue Jew Gundam and chilled the cockpit. Resulting Moody and Blue Jew were both down. How ironic, the original Jew Gundam survived the whole war and this upgraded version didn't even survive for 5 minutes on screen. This example shows us that a good Gundam is still gonna die with a terrible pilot. Not only the Earth Alliance is upgrading the Jew Gundam, a mysterious organization called Liberian Works was also upgrading the Jew Gundam. Before introducing the new Gundam, let me do a short intro for the Liberians. The Liberian is an organization associated with the clan. The history of the clan is long so I want to introduce it when I'm on another video related to it. Anyway, after the clan was collapsed, the Liberians took their technology and data, which was why they have advanced MS technologies and able to copy the dead ace pilots using the genetic materials. The reborn pilots were called Carbon Human. They will usually go around and attack random Earth Alliance or Zaf bases. They will also attack Lord Gui and the Junk Guild, London Mina Sahaku from Orb Nation and the whole Serpent Tail team. They had no interest on ruling the world. Their goal was to show off their power to the world. For further explanation, I will fill them in when I'm up to that certain MS or pilot. The Liberian Works upgraded the Jew Gundam. The new version was called Regen Jew Gundam. Regen means ring in German, meaning the MS will cause blood raining from the sky in the battlefield. This version upgraded the strength of the MS and redesigned the Gundam. Another big upgrade was the Regen Jew Gundam was able to handle the combat from all range. The Liberians added striker pack connectors, so the Regen Jew Gundam could use any striker packs if needed. They realized the old Assault Stroud added too much dead weight. They improved the idea. They only added extra armor on the chest, waist, and feet. Protecting spots that need extra protection without more armor causing dead weight. Later, the Liberians hired a professional MS pilot, Kite Madigan. He added a new mouth plate and shoulder thrusters. The new thrusters improved the Gundam's mobility in side-to-side -side movements. The Regen Jew Gundam armaments include 75mm series, 57mm high-energy beam rifle with grenade launcher, beam sabers, shield, 150mm Rudra Rail Rival and 350mm Gaybog Rail Bazooka. The Rail Rival was a variant of the Rail Gun on the Jew Gundam. Instead on the armor, it will serve as a handheld weapon. It got less ammunition but more flexible. The Rail Bazooka was modified as the Bazooka Striker. It could be ejected to quickly gain back the Gundam's light weight. I wasn't able to find the full chapters of the Gundam Seed vs Astray, so it's hard for me to tell you what happened in the story as I had limited information. The Regen Jew Gundam was frequently deployed to attack EA or Zaft military bases. The second mission was monitor Good Vare's action when he met Elijah. However, Vare hijacked Elijah Zaku. Kite was trying to chase him but it was failed. There wasn't any other information suggesting whether the Regen Jew Gundam launched for other missions or not. After the Liberians disbanded, this MS became Kite Personal MS Collection. Don't close the video yet, I want to tell you about a new website called GamplerPrices.com. This new website allows you to search for the lowest Gampler prices very easily. Just type the name and you can find what you want. They are partnered with 71 stores and with a big number like this, it's very easy to find what you want with the price you are happy with. Also, they gave me a blog page, so from now on, I will be writing blogs on their website too. Make sure you visit their website and check out my blog too. Go to gamplerprices.com or the link is in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to it to get the notification whenever I upload a new video. YouTube sometimes glitches and unsubscribe.
Comment down below and tell me your thoughts and maybe some suggestion for the future topics. Donation link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.